Hi guys, it's My Face Story here, and today I am here to talk to you about my summer skincare essentials slash what I'm using right now slash all natural products. So as you guys know, I have recently switched to all natural, non-toxic skincare products, and let me tell you, I feel amazing, my skin feels amazing. Um, I've had a lot of questions asked about non-toxic makeup, but I have gotten rid of all of my makeup. I have not switched out to non-toxic makeup yet. I just have not been wearing any, which honestly has been working pretty well for me. Um, since I stopped wearing makeup, I feel like I haven't been breaking out hardly at all. I do have one little pimp right here. This little pimp, um, this little pimp went to the market and he goes bye-bye because I put some little lotions on him and stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, so today I'm here to talk to you about my summer skincare routine, which is now all natural, organic, and non-toxic. So I'm gonna start off with my cleanser, which I'm currently, currently using, is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bar. Um, this is the face and body bar. It's about five bucks at Target. It smells amazing. It has, well, the closet just opened by itself. It has African black soap in it, um, shea butter, which is something I was like, no, I'm not gonna put that in my face, and then a couple different essential oils, and as you can see, it has like oats in it too. But this is like super amazing. This, I can say, 10 out of 10 does work. It cleared up the stubborn cystic acne that I had. Like, two or three spots, cleared it up right away. Um, I will say I didn't like it at first because I did feel like it was a little bit too drying, but I put on jojoba oil after and it is good, it's fine. And it doesn't bother me as much anymore. Oh, and another thing, don't get this in your eyes because it burns, it's like legit soap. Like, soap soap, it burns. I don't know why it burns so bad, but it does, don't get in your eyes. And I switched back and forth between that and the Alba Botanica Facial Cleanser. And this one is the Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme. And this one is a clean, non-toxic beauty product as well. Doesn't have any parabens, no sulfates, no phy phthalates. <laughs> um, and of course, no animal testing. It's 100% vegetarian ingredients. And it's vegan, has a little jumping bunny on it, so. The, this one, I would recommend for sensitive skin. This one, not so much. Um, this one definitely has like the pineapple scent in it, so I think it would be kind of irritating. Okay, for a toner, what I've been using is the apple cider vinegar, the Bragg's Organic with the Mother, or the T and Dickinson's Witch Hazel, or both of them together with some water and a couple drops of tea tree oil. Um, it's like the best DIY toner ever. They're both natural organic. Um, well, this one doesn't say it's organic. This is natural. This one's organic, so natural and organic. You know what I mean. And this is really good, actually, if you wanna take shots of it as well. It'll help to heal your gut and kind of balance the pH in your body. Um, you wanna dilute it with water, like take physical shots. You can take this internally or apply it externally. Either way, it's gonna help your skin. Um, but if you are taking shots of it, definitely don't take it straight up or else you will burn your stomach lining. Mix it with water, like one teaspoon and eight ounces of warm water in the morning. Help to kickstart your digestion and um, remove any toxins from your system. And then this is really great at reducing like the size and inflammation of cystic spots. Like this is really, really, really great for that. Just like a little bit of this on a cotton pad and then wham, bam, you can tell like as soon as you take it off that it looks way less inflamed. I love it. And for moisturizers, during the day I'm using two different ones depending on like how oily or whatever my skin is. I'm using the aloe vera oil from Vanish and this one is definitely if my skin is like more dry during the day I will use this one. Um, and this one has in it organic soybean oil, organic aloe, and vitamin E oil. And this one is really great at giving you like a nice dewy glow. It's super moisturizing and it um, helps with like red marks. You know, it has aloe vera in it, which is known for helping with sunburn and red skin. This definitely helps with red marks. If I feel like I need some SPF that day or I don't feel like I need something as heavy, I definitely go with the Andalou Naturals Age Defying Lotion and this one has SPF 15 in it. This one is really, really, really good for sensitive skin. It doesn't clog pores, um, has Bio 8 Active Berry Complex in it and it helps your skin cells to renew themselves and turn over faster. Um, oh, SPF 18, not 15. 
might be. And it is definitely lightweight. Like this is not as moisturizing as putting an oil on your face. This is lightweight. At night, I have two different things I like to use. I like to use the Banished Vitamin C Cream or I like to use the Desert Essence Organic Jojoba Oil. And the Vitamin C Cream is a repeat, repairing facial cream and it works really, really well to not only help with like hyperpigmentation and texture, but to give your face like a nice glow. And it kind of looks like if you put it on overnight, it definitely looks like more even and kind of just like dewy when you wake up. I really like using this at night and waking up in the morning. And I know that this has 20% vitamin C in it. So this is gonna be really good at fading the red marks and also helping the texture. And then the jojoba oil, which I'm sure you guys all know of, is the closest thing to your skin's actual sebum that it produces. So this is great if you have oily skin to use this at night and wake up and rinse it off in the morning. I'm currently doing that. Um, so you basically are training your skin not to produce as, or tr tricking, I guess, more than training. Um, you're tricking your skin not to produce as much oil since this is mimicking the oil production. And I mean, if you don't like it, you can always use it on your body or your hair if you didn't like it on your face, you know? So there's like so many uses for this. It's good. I love it. Get it. For spot treatments, I'm just using two different essential oils right now. I'm using the tea tree oil from the body shop and I'm using lavender oil. And this one brand is, oh girl, Aurora Cassia. I did not pronounce that right. Um, but I know this one's only 15%. This one is 100% pure essential oil. I feel like this one works way better on, you know, cystic acne or bigger spots. You definitely have to like massage it in. I use this at night. Um, this I use whenever, uh, but definitely this one works for like little pimps, you know, little whiteheads um, and just like little spots. I wouldn't really use this on my cysts as much. I feel like this one works way better. And you can use any uh, lavender oil or tea tree oil, just make sure like it's 100%. This one actually isn't. This one's only 15% tea tree oil, um, but I'm gonna use it until it runs out and then buy one that's 100%. As far as masks go, there is one new mask that I've been trying that I really, really like. I got it because it was on sale at Target. It is called SW Basics. It's the hibiscus mask. And this one is definitely um, going to be for oil and like to absorb oil. And I feel like this one is also exfoliating uh, because when you put it on and then after you rinse it off, it definitely has like a tingling, like burning sensation when you put it on. Um, not like in pain or anything, but it definitely burns a little bit. And you can tell that it's like shedding away your dead skin, excess skin cells. But this only has in it three ingredients, hibiscus, organic, organic lavender, and French green clay. That's all this is. So I like that it's really simple and it also smells good as well. It's kind of like a pink purple color when you put it on. Another really good mask uh, for exfoliation, like my favorite all time mask always is the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Um, this mask is really, really good for exfoliation and they use only organic and natural ingredients in this one. And this one is also, yep, it's vegan and cruelty free. All of Banish is cruelty free. That's why I love them so much, because I got little fur babies. Um, but yeah, this one has pumpkin fruit, organic bilberry, lemon extract, I think it has orange peel? Yep. And sugarcane extract. Really, really good for exfoliating and showing your skin. Um, probably the best thing to show, or to get rid of, I guess, um, old acne, like red marks. And then last but not least, my favorite mask combination, right now is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask, which is Benetite Clay. You can get this on Amazon for like, I don't know, five, 10 bucks, I think. And then the Vanish Activated Charcoal Clay Mask. Both of these are like super oil absorbing, um, super detoxifying, pulls everything out of your skin. Uh, this one, when I first started using it, I didn't like it because I thought it was breaking me out, but this actually pulls stuff out of your skin. Like it makes you purge when you first start using it. Now I love it. I feel like my face is so clean after I use it. And I mix these every time with this apple cider vinegar. Use like this. It works so incredibly well. Um, it helps, the apple cider vinegar helps to make kind of like a thicker paste and it gets kind of foamy. Um, and you can feel it kind of throbbing on your skin, pulling everything out. So this is like the bee's knees. This is the deep 
cleaning, deep cleaning right there. So that is my summer skincare routine in a nutshell. That's everything I've been using. And like I said before, I switched to all like natural, organic, non-toxic beauty products because I've learned that the beauty industry is like one of the most unregulated in the world. They can put whatever they want in a product and call it like um, a fragrance or I don't know, something that it's not. They can also, from what I've learned, do greenwashing, which if you guys don't know what greenwashing is, it's when a company claims to be like natural or organic, um, but really they're putting in just as many things as the next company. A good example of that is Tarte, not to hate Tarte, but they do say like, oh, our ingredients are so clear, our ingredients are so natural. But really, if you look at it and compare it, it's not. Like they have just as many carcinogens, just as many um, like reproductive type issues in their products. And you can look that stuff up using the app I was, I've been telling you guys about. It is the Think Dirty app. Um, it'll tell you every single thing that's in like any product basically and if they don't have the product you can scan the product and they will eventually like get to it and break it down for you um, but it tells you every single item that is inside the product and the level of dirtiness it is so like how clean is it being zero to dirty being 10 a product is um, it'll tell you if there's carcinogens in it It'll tell you if it causes like a hormonal imbalance. It'll tell you about if it causes reproductive issues or if um, there are immunotoxicities in it, different things like that that you don't want in your skincare products, especially if it's causing a hormonal balance because as we all know, like hormonal balance is going to cause acne. So yeah, that is basically why I've switched to completely non-toxic, organic, natural skincare. I love it so much and I feel like my skin has never been better and all that jazz. Also, not just my skincare, like my shampoo too and my body lotion and my toothpaste is all like natural and organic because your skin is your largest organ and it is going to absorb whatever you put into it. And even if it doesn't cause product problems right away, it might cause them in the long run. So it's better just to avoid that if you can. So, woo, there we go. That is my summer skincare routine. 2017 queen and if you guys want to learn more know more about there's a flying here jesus christ um about me and my story you can definitely look that up on my instagram it is my face story and i hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much